Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. He's not aware of the investments that were being made in his name. Of course, I and can't. Compare, blind trust. And to compare my investments with his is like comparing a tiny mouse with a giant elephant. Yep, a lot of fun in that debate last night. Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich are doing whatever they can to win the biggest primary state to date. It's, of course, Florida, and the primary there is Tuesday. And if you saw that debate, no question, Romney turned in one of his strongest performances of the season. Political analyst Bill Crane is joining us now. And Bill, what do you think both candidates have to do if they want to win Florida? Well, right now, the night before these debates were aired, or the last night's debate were aired, there were three polls conducted by Rasmussen, the Sunshine State News, and Quinnipiac, and all came back putting Governor Romney up 9, 9, and 8 before last night's debate. Right. So all Mitt Romney has to do basically now is hang on. There's early voting underway already in Florida. Newt Gingrich is the one who has to make up some ground, and he played angry Newt last night, and angry Newt generally does not do well, particularly with women. Hispanic voters are also a big part of the turnout, and in Florida, uniquely, they are typically Puerto Rican or Cuban, not Mexican. So it's a different message, and that particular discussion they had about legal versus illegal immigration seemed to play very well last night for Governor Romney. And we also understand that Romney has a new debate coach. And last night, maybe we saw some of that because he really seemed to be um, comfortable in standing firm against and pushing back against Newt. Particularly on things like the Space Coast and whether he'd hire or fire someone who proposed a multi-billion dollar lunar space station. Yeah, he, <laughs> he managed to be firm and also assert himself while smiling. And, and a couple of times even called down Rick Santorum for getting too hostile. <laughs> and what about Rick Santorum? I mean, he did have a strong performance last night. He's not going to win Florida, but quickly, why does he still matter? He still matters because the higher he gets, the lower it is for Newt Gingrich, the harder it is for Newt to get past from Mitt Romney, and he's looking good for vice president coming from a swing state, being a Southern conservative, or not Southern conservative, conservative to anchor that ticket. Oh, it's going to be a fascinating few days. I'm curious, too, to know what you think when Newt Gingrich comes up with these ideas that seem like they are so... Lunacy? Yes. <laughs> I, I, the, the one of the rubs against the speaker is though he's a brilliant man, he comes up with these things off, right. uh, off the out of the blue yeah. and out of, in outer space. And, and in this instance, the timing of it has not been at all helpful for him. May have won him a few votes on the Space Coast, but it doesn't seem to have done anywhere else very good. Choice of word lunacy. Well done, Bill Crane. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in Florida for the next several days bringing you the latest from the trail. The vote's Tuesday, and look for our reports as we follow the candidates and some Georgians in Florida doing a lot of work.